Hello, my awesome scientists. So tonight we are going to be talking about inherited traits versus learned behaviors. So all organisms in our ecosystems, including us, including plants, including animals, we all have what we call inherited traits, and then we all have learned behaviors. So tonight your goal is to be able to tell the difference, to differentiate between what an inherited trait is, opposed to a learned behavior and be able to give examples of each as well as recognize examples of each. So let's go ahead and get started. You will need to be on page 144 in your journal. Um, you will set up a t-chart with our two brand new vocabulary words. You will be responsible for writing down the definition of each word as well as any examples we will discuss in the video. So Let's get started and learn about inherited traits and learned behaviors. So the first one we're going to talk about is inherited traits. And inherited traits are characteristics or behaviors that we get from our parents. They're passed down to us from our parents. Our parents got them from our grandparents. Um, and that is what it means to inherit something. You get it from your parents. So as you can see, here is a photograph of myself and my sister with our parents when we were younger. And you should be able to pick out some of our inherited traits. Um, a lot of our traits that are inherited are very visible ways that we look similar to our parents. Looks, the way we look, is a very big inherited trait. And you can see that all three of us, my sister, myself, and my mom, we all have curly hair. Okay, so this hair right here, this is something I got from my parents. I have no control over that. Um, that is something I inherited from them. I was born with it. Um, you also notice all four of us have brown hair. That is another inherited trait. We all have brown eyes. Um, and you'll notice myself and my dad, we have a darker skin tone, whereas my sister and my mom have a lighter skin tone. So I inherited my skin tone from my dad, but my sister inherited her skin tone from our mom. So you can see some of the traits that I inherited and my sister inherited from our parents, and our parents inherited their traits from their parents, our grandparents. Okay, so let's look at some more examples. Okay, ooh, I went way too far. Okay, so here are some examples. Um, like I said, our looks. Okay, for the most part, the way you look is an inherited trait. The, the things you were born with that you've had since you were a baby. Your eye color, your hair color, your skin color. Um, animal instincts are also an inherited trait. So the fact that uh, spiders spin a web, um, birds build nests, bears hibernate, and a lot of birds and other organisms migrate in the winter, those are all animal instincts. They didn't have to be taught how to do those things. They just are born knowing how to do those things. Um, as well as like the shape of birds' beaks, the shape of their feet, um, basically physical characteristics and our instincts are inherited traits that we are born with or born knowing how to do, okay? So on the other hand, as we grow um, and we're in our environment, we also have what we call learned behaviors. And behaviors, learned behaviors are behaviors that are learned through time and experience. Um, you, they have to be taught to you. It's not something you're born with. And it, they're also called acquired behaviors or traits. Acquired just means to you get it from from learning. You're you're taught how to do something. So you can see here. Here's another picture of myself with my dad when I was younger. I'm learning how to roller skate. Okay, I'm not born knowing how to roller skate. Um, I'm I learned that from my dad. Um, same thing when you learn how to ride a bicycle or you learn how to play a sport. You're not learn you're not born knowing how to do that. You are taught by someone how to do that. And that's why so many of us um, we know we all experience different home lives um, and different backgrounds and so a lot of our learned behaviors are different from each other depending on the environment that we grew up in. Um, so your environment determines a lot of the learned behaviors that you will acquire or gain as you grow up. Okay, so let's look at some more examples. Um, so like I said, riding a bike. 
also things like talking, walking, swimming, um, even babies when they learn to talk. And this is very visible with the fact that some of you were born speaking Spanish or another language while some of you were born speaking um, English. Well, you weren't born speaking that way, but you learned it as you grow older because that's what you hear. That's in your environment. If you heard a lot of Spanish, then you're going to learn and you're going to speak Spanish. If you grew up in a home where there was only English spoken, then you're going to learn and start speaking Spanish or English. So that all has to do with your environment that you grew up in. It's a learned behavior. Um, another learned behavior would be the fact that, you know, animals, they know that they need to hunt for food. It's an instinct. However, animals can learn how to use tools um, to try to get their food. Um, also, when animals learn tricks, that is also a learned behavior. They're not born knowing how to do those things. And sometimes animals can even learn how to avoid situations. If they, you know, touched something that made them sick, then they'll know never to go back to that uh, plant again or whatever it was. So anything that you're not born with that you have to learn or gain from experience, that's going to be what we call a learned behavior. Okay, so let's review. Um, so we have inherited traits and we have learned behaviors. So inherited would be, for example, a, boy, a bear instinctively knows to be a hunter. It is born knowing it must hunt to get food, but it learns how to actually do the hunting from its mama and papa bear. Okay, the bear learns that certain areas are better than others for finding food. Um, he might also learn that something tastes bad and he'll avoid that in the future. Um, a lot of animals also learn how to take food from humans. So that's why a lot of uh, state parks um, where there's bears have like bear trapped um, trash cans because bears, if they see humans constantly putting trash somewhere, they can learn to get the food from the humans. So they know to hunt for food. They're born instinctively knowing that, but how they actually hunt and get food, that would be learned, okay? So you will need to be prepared to discuss the difference between inherited and learned, inherited traits and learned behaviors tomorrow. Um, so make sure that you wrote down the definition of each new vocab word and you listed all given examples. Um, I hope you have a great evening and I will see you tomorrow.